What's the difference between a $20 nail gun and an $80 nail gun? We're going to find out today on Alley Picked. I finally got fed up with my cheap 18 gauge air nail gun. It's been oiled and cleaned, but the thing just keeps on jamming. I think it's time that it just head on over to that big scrap heap in the sky. Instead, I replaced it with this better, younger, and sexier DeWalt model. It's a DWFP12233. I'm gonna open it up, put it to work, and then I'll let you know what I think. This gun will shoot 18 gauge nails as short as 5 eighths of an inch and as long as 2 and an eighth. The magazine holds 100 nails. I start with about 85 PSI on the compressor. On the first couple nails, I noticed that the nail head wasn't driving far enough into the wood. I gave the depth adjustment wheel a couple of turns and now it drives the nail to the proper depth. Now I'll rotate the trigger mode selector to try out this bump action. That's pretty cool. This feature made it sound like somebody was knocking at the door, which got the attention of my dog Snickers. My air compressor started to get low, so some of the nail heads are sticking out. Let's summarize the difference between these two 18 gauge nail guns. I've got the cheaper one that I bought at Menard some years back for about 20 bucks, and then this DeWalt which I bought recently for 80 bucks. First of all, let's talk about jamming. The DeWalt one didn't jam at all, except when I had the pressure too low. You're supposed to set your compressor between 70 and 120 PSI. Well, when it got close to 70, this one did jam, but that's to be expected. You need enough pressure to drive the nail in. This one, however, that would jam whenever it felt like it. Secondly, let's talk about quality. The DeWalt one is much better made. It just feels so much nicer in your hand. And we're gonna be pounding nails all day. That makes a big difference. The cheaper model requires a few drops of oil before each use. Not a big deal, but it's just more maintenance that you don't have to worry about with the DeWalt. Another great thing about the DeWalt is this head. There's no need to push against the work surface to actuate. The cheaper one requires you to push it against the work, which can scratch the surface. The DeWalt one has many more features on it that this doesn't, like a depth adjustment wheel. If you want the nail head to be sunk below the surface of the wood so you can fill it, or you can set it so it's even with the top surface of the wood. It also has a pretty cool belt hook. It's got a no mar pad right here so you're not gonna scratch up the wood. It's got this mode selector for single shot or what they call bump mode. And most importantly, it's got a pencil sharpener. So don't go cheap. Save up your money and get a little bit of a nicer tool. Thanks for watching Alley Picked and today's quick tip.